Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here in the Philippines. Today we are on a small island. <laughs> There's some roosters around. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption, but we are on Bantayan Island just off of Cebu. It's our very first time here and if you've been following along, you know that we're kind of looking for places to live in the future, short term, long term, you know, we're sort of just figuring it out. But today we're going to be asking like, could we actually live here? So this is probably one of the smaller, more local places we've ever been to in the Philippines. We're going to see a lot of it today. We can't wait to show it to you. It's definitely really interesting. There's lots of animals around. We're going to see cats and dogs, of course, but there's also like chickens and some, some goats around. And there's trikes. Trikes are back in our life. And so lots of trikes. There's actually not many cars here that we've seen anyway. There's lots of motorbikes and lots of trikes to get around. So right off the bat, this place reminds us of three years ago when we got stuck in the Philippines in an area called El Nido on Palawan. So we stayed in a little village just outside of El Nido, like the town itself. And yeah, this place just flashback right away to that time in our life. So we're actually staying uh, at a place that's very close to this beautiful beach, except, well, the weather is not quite doing it for us. I know, we only actually have a few full days here, sadly. It's always hard when you don't have like a huge amount of time, and you have to depend on good weather. Yesterday was beautiful out for most of the day, and we probably should have filmed, but we didn't. <laughs> and I know for most of you guys, you're like, oh, what, whatever, you know, just film anyway, which we are going to do. But in places like this, when the water like lights up, beautiful tropical colors in the sunlight. It's just always so sad to have a windy overcast day where we can't even fly the drone. So if you're wondering how do you get here from Cebu City, it's not too difficult. There's a couple of different ways. One is just taking a bus or taking a private transfer. Those are really the only two ways. Or I guess you could rent a car <laughs> as well. And then you have to take a ferry, which takes about, about an hour, an hour and 20 minutes to get from yeah. a town called Hagnaya, I think it is, it's over Hagnaya. here to They're also Bantai. They're also very twisty roads. It's not like a straight, highway so just keep that in mind and also we mentioned here before <laughs> where where is here so Bantayan is in the north east of Cebu it's a little island just off of there it's very small one thing we're really digging about this town is there's definitely enough restaurants for us there's quite a few different cafes and also there's like little boutiques around too yeah so basically it's not big by any means but it definitely has everything that you would need yeah and there's also just things we're seeing for the first time here. Like, if you look behind me, we have one of those trikes, but it's like a pedal bike trike. And that is definitely, we did not see that in El Nido. We did not. And there's also a lot of bike rent. I think probably because there's no, not many vehicles here. There are some cars, but not many. Uh, there's a lot of like pet regular bikes. You can yeah. just rent a bike and take it around the island. We'll take you guys in here to a local supermarket. It's very small and it's really local. But you can see there's a lot of products in this store. It does have everything you're going to need. Now, this is not the only supermarket as well. Do I even call that a supermarket? I'm not sure. It's like a big store. There is an actual supermarket further down in town. So really, this place has everything you're going to need, but it's still very rustic. One thing I'm not so sure of, we ended up bringing a fair bit of cash with us because pretty much everywhere so far that we've been to is cash only. I don't know if anybody takes credit cards here, which could get a little bit difficult. And I've only seen two ATMs so far. <laughs> Wondering if they do actually run out of cash this the weekend now. So maybe something we want to do is top up on our cash just in case. That would be something for me that would be get frustrating, I think. I like my credit cards. It's easy. And I like getting points with it too. So staying a long time somewhere where I could never use it get a little bit annoying. But there's a lot here as well. Beautiful beaches. Hopefully we can get to one a little bit later. But throughout the course of the video, we will be talking a little bit more about like living here and what it would be like and maybe by the end of the video we will come to a conclusion of could we live here or not one thing we didn't mention yet is the name of the town somehow it's called santa fe so yes we're on the island of van time but we're in this cute little town over this way is a sports complex i just love these we, we have seen these when we were in el nido as well and now i'm curious what is the most popular sport in the philippines i didn't look it up or anything i know i could easily do that but i think it's basketball let me know if I'm right. Looks like over there is the local fire station, you think? There's a fire station over there. I think this is also the street with all the schools on it. It Someone's is. having a little brush fire I know, look, there. I just noticed too. Yeah, over this way, there's like a brush fire right by the fire department. Very, so very convenient. Th they're in good hands. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, lots of motorbikes around. But I think the common theme is 
there's not a lot of people in this in this village. Yeah, I actually didn't even look up the population. I don't even know if that would be online, but I'd say it's pretty small. It seems to be a lot more locals. There are, as far as like tourists go, I would say a lot of Filipino tourists are here, and we are filming on a weekend, so it might be slightly bu so busier, maybe slightly busier than it is uh, during the week. And we've seen a few Western tourists, but really not that many. It's also very windy. You can yes, see tell by Hannah's hair. Yeah. So that's the thing. There's a beach close by. We're going to take them to it now. Through the smoke here, we go from the, the brush fire over there. So yeah, this beach, we were going to take you guys there anyway. But the, the issue we're having with the weather today is like we don't know whether to cut the video soon and just pick it back up tomorrow. It'll be the same video for you guys. And hope for be better weather, but the forecast is it doesn't so It doesn't hard. look... Like great weather, so yeah. We but it also every time I look at the forecast, I feel like it changes per hour. <laughs> when yesterday, when I looked, it said every day was going to be beautiful. Now it's basically like doom and gloom. But yeah. it doesn't mean anything. And we want to show you the, the Filipino beaches in their best light. Like they're yeah. beautiful when the sun's out. We're gonna go and we'll take you now. But look, there's a school back there. That's pretty cool as well. But yeah, because we only have a few days here, that's why we're trying to figure out this weather. Hopefully, we get. Some, uh, some sun for you guys because we have some plants here and we want to show you guys the amazing Filipino beaches when they're that like turquoise water that we all come here for. Hi, Hi guys. <laughs> How are you? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hello. What's your name? Angelito. Angelito. I like your bike. <laughs> What's your name? Even. Even. Nice to meet you. How do you say my name is Trevor in, in Tagalog? Yeah. How do you say? How do I say? You teach me? Yeah. Can you teach me? How do I say? Is it Ong Pangalong? Or Trevor? Yeah. Oh, I got it. <laughs> that was a bit of a guess. I was going off memory because I did learn a little bit of Tagalog before. By that I mean three words and how to say my name. But I guess these guys are coming to the beach. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, here we are. The beach still looks beautiful, huh? <laughs> it does. It's nice to know that even on a cloudy day, although the sun's trying to peek out, this water, I mean, it, I guess it's just so beautiful that even on a cloudy day, it look, still looks gorgeous. It's a little wavier than it was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday Probably this was it's like, windy. it's really windy out. I don't think we can fly the drone. There are people surfing down there, too. Well, that wasn't happening yesterday. Definitely That's not. Different. We've been talking about whether or not we could live here in this little tiny village on this little tiny island, but this is one of the perks. <laughs> it's one of the amazing things. I mean, take a look at that. Even with overcast, it's still stunning. So it is cool that you have the village. And this is like a minute walk, two minutes from the major, uh, I say the major road, the road we were just on previously. So yeah, you can't beat Filipino beaches, even when it's overcast. I really wish we could put the drone up and maybe we'll lock out in the next couple of days and it'll be beautiful and we can just insert some drone footage right here. But yeah. It's gonna happen or it's not gonna happen. We'll see. Well, we lost a drone in the past. We don't feel like losing another one. This is way too gusty. Yeah, it's pretty super gusty. But um, we'll, we promise, guys, we'll try our best to get some drone shots in other videos. Pray to the weather gods. <laughs> This is just so dreamy. Like honestly, this is basically why you come to the Philippines for beautiful beaches like this. It's white sand, beautiful water. And I love that on this side. We did notice like this side was a little bit wavy yesterday. So I think it's always kind of wavy over here, but then you loop around and if you don't want the waves, you can just go like float around in the lagoon area over here. Yeah, over here it's like, it's really protected, huh? Yeah, it's if you had little kids, it'd probably be really nice. <laughs> you could just take a, take a toddler or a little kid in there that can't swim. There actually is a bunch of kids down there. Like what a perfect place to play. <laughs> and you can see way off in the distance, there are those surfers as well. The surfers are actually blowing my mind because we did not see those surfers the other day. The surfers, there was also just a dog. You fortunately, unfortunately didn't get it on the camera. There was a dog like super frolicking out there in the waves. He was having a blast. Where'd he go? I, I don't know. Totally I missed he him. went back on the beach. <laughs> it was cute. It's funny. This is actually the main beach in town. This one is beautiful and you probably notice there's like not a lot of people here, right? I think this is what it's always like. We talked to some locals and they said it's never really that busy, but they said if you find this beach too busy, I mean, come on, there's like no one here. There is another beach that you can go to called Paradise Beach. I don't think it's too far away. I just don't think we're gonna risk it today just because of the weather. If we're going to Paradise Beach, we want it to be on an extremely nice day, but this beach, 
This is gonna do the trick anyway, you guys. How beautiful is this? So the beach in certain parts is honestly hard to walk on because there's all this like broken coral on it. There must be a coral reef right out there, which makes me also wonder if there's good snorkeling around here because usually if there's coral reefs, there's good diving and snorkeling. Look, I'll uh, pick one of these up. Do you yeah, like that's, one? that's actually one of the biggest pieces of coral I've ever seen on a beach. Yeah. You can really see what it looks like when it's, well, not alive. Yeah, it's really light too. You think it's going to be heavier, but... Yeah. <laughs> Filipinos just love to sing. They're back there on the beach having a beer, playing some guitar. Yeah, I'd say they love to sing probably more than any other nation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. And karaoke too. But right now we're in kind of like, like, what would you call this, a market? Yeah, it's like a little like strip of different kiosks. It's called the Hungry Beach Company. You yeah. can just come get drinks, get food, a whole bunch of different stuff. Yeah, look at all these places. So if you look, yeah, behind me, what do we got? Looks like a tea place. Over this way, it says vegan, so... No, it says 0% vegan. Oh, 0% vegan. Yeah, I, I think got, it's a meat place. <laughs> I got that one wrong. <laughs> Carnivores only. We found this super cute little boutique called Beach Witch. They've got some really nice stuff in here, but... You guys know how I feel about sunglasses. <laughs> ah, How's it look? They're red. Just they're like... red. We could each have our own pair of red sunglasses. <laughs> well, since these ones are mine Are mine. Anyway. Are mine that I let him borrow. No, these are mine, aren't they? But they're mine. No, they're mine. <laughs> <laughs> they're definitely mine. Definitely mine. Well, we just ran into a subscriber here. <laughs> No, it's just a, I'll tell you my story. <laughs> yeah, I ahead. was in my house yesterday. We're living here. We have an apartment here. I'm married to a Filipina. I've been here for 14 years. And I was watching. We're going to be going to Bangkok. So I'm watching videos on Bangkok, including your Terminal 21 video. And as I'm watching it yesterday morning, I sit and I think, I wonder if I'll run into... One of these days I want to run into a vlogger. I mean, I figured you're in Thailand because that's your last yeah, post. Exactly. And I go that's into this amazing. cuckoo restaurant, which is right there, here, right there. Yeah. last night, and I'm having a drink. I saw you guys walk in. I thought, that's here crazy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's crazy. Weird. And yeah. what's so cool funny. is we're talking about El Nido. He remembers us from our El Nido videos, yes. and he lives here too, huh? Yeah, yeah, so you probably have some insight on what it's like to live here. Yeah, what is it like in general? Like, what the bullet points? Is it good? We really love Panglao. Island okay. and, and we lived okay. for six months on Alana Beach. Yeah. Okay, we're and we're actually... probably gonna go back there. Spoiler maybe. alert, we're going there. Oh, so yeah. these oh, guys so. are hearing it now. <laughs> but you like living in the Philippines, I guess. Oh I love it here. Yeah. I love it. And you're from Texas? Oh uh, well uh, yes, Texas. The US. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. I've moved around a bit. What are the odds of like running into someone here in this sleepy little village? So funny. Yeah. So funny. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah. Well, it was really good it was to meet so you. Cool. I've seen probably almost all your blocks. <laughs> I think when I was researching us going to San Juan. That's when I first found you guys. Wow, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Puerto Rico. Puerto, Puerto Rico, Rico. Yeah. yeah. It's been pretty hot walking around, so we've come into a place to get something to cool us off, and we ended up with this traditional Filipino dessert. It's called Halo Halo. And it looks good. Yes, we've actually had this before in Manila, I believe. So the thing about Halo Halo is it basically has everything in it that you could possibly imagine. I'm even trying to remember what's on the bottom, but on the top I see like cornflakes, some sort of gummy things, or even corn there. <laughs> And it's like, well, it's cold as well, which is weird. Here, this just looks like a medley of random things. Right. So, so you want to try it? Let's try it out. Oh, wait now. Aren't we doing it wrong? <laughs> You're right. So if you've already left a comment saying we were about to do it wrong again, you can delete that. Because we're mixing it we are. right now. Here we go. <laughs> Trying it properly this time. So first off, it's definitely gonna cool us down. It's so cold. It's basically like shaved ice on the bottom. I think there's evaporated milk and coconut milk in there too. So I love that. It's probably my favorite part of it. The gummy stuff's kind of really good too. And cornflakes add a little bit of crunch. Mostly the corn itself is probably the weirdest part for me. If you didn't know, Filipinos really, really have a sweet tooth. They love sweets, and I think that's why this is so popular. Look, just look at all of the things. I forgot how fun this little dessert dish is. Ooh. Very cold. This has to get the award for most unique dessert I've ever tried on this planet. Just look at the color of this. Absolutely love it. Honestly, forgot how much I love this little guy. I'm gonna have to be getting more while we're here because in case you didn't know, the temperature is usually around 30 degrees every day, whether it's raining or whether there's sunshine. So at least we have some hollow hollow to cool us down. So we thought it would be a good time to show you guys where we're staying. There's definitely a lot of different accommodation types here in this town. There's obviously some really, really local places. There's some resorts as well that are right on the beach, but this is kind of like 
in the middle and it's super cute. It's pretty affordable. I think we paid about $50 a night for this. And it's definitely one of the cutest places I could find online when I was looking. Yeah, so a TV right behind you. That is kind of convenient. You might yeah. be able to see some of our, or hear some of our furry friends outside. Yes, there are, as we, you saw at the beginning of the video, which was taken pretty much right outside the door, there are lots of uh, roosters around. They're definitely the loudest neighbors. Okay, this way, a desk. Yeah, and there's also a little fridge here as well. A table over here. We have a little patio area, I'll show you that in a second. And then we have, I guess, a queen size bed, I would assume. Yeah, I think it's like a queen size bed. There's AC over there, and you've got a little uh, closet there as well. Yeah, and then the bathroom's just that way. It is just a modest bathroom here, but you will see uh, some really nice tile work. There's a pedestal sink, and it's one of those uh, showers. <laughs> There's no curtain or anything, so when you get a shower, basically the water goes everywhere. Go outside here so you can uh, yeah, see the lay of the land. Yeah, so we have our own little patio right here. You can see, obviously, like you look basically overlooking someone else's house, so you can see what it's like to live here. And then we do have a tiny little water view that way as well. Yeah, there are two chairs here, but yeah, you might be able to uh, get a good sense here. I mean, there's just those locals working there. Looks like there's some construction going on, but. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty raw, it's pretty local, but it's a nice place. It is nice, and there's also a kitchen, like a shared kitchen downstairs. We haven't used it, but it's great if you want to like cook some, some of your own meals while you're here. If you're wondering about the internet speeds, they are very fast, as you can see here. That is definitely a bit of a surprise. Yeah, <laughs> it, I'd say it, it, once in a while it kind of drops out and goes a little bit slower, yeah. but in general it's worked really well, which has been great. Well, it's really necessary. We didn't, we didn't think we'd be able to upload videos here. We had one kind of ready to go, and and turns out we can. So that's honestly just a nice perk at this point. Well, yeah, and if we are thinking about living somewhere, that's an absolute 100% requirement. It's not <laughs> negotiable. You have to be able to work and yeah. make a living. So that's really important. <laughs> also, you're probably wondering, what is the name of this place? In case you come, you can take this right, one. Right, this one, it's called Bella's Guest House. I think I already said we paid about $50 a night, and this is in high season, so yeah. I think that's really, really good. Uh, and I will put, as always, put the link in the description below. It's below the video. You can find it there if you want to book it yourself. All right, so let's try to answer the questions as we hear the uh, roosters out there. Can, can, could we live a simple life here in the Philippines? Like on a, in a town like this, maybe on an island, maybe. With all the chickens. Maybe not, with all the chickens and all the goats. <laughs> could we do it? I think the answer is, Maybe, but probably, probably not. not. We probably <laughs> could. If well, we yeah, I know we could. could. But would we want to? I don't. I feel like this is a great place for a vacation to come for a week or two and mm -hmm. just like enjoy the beaches. Hopefully, get good weather and or just relax. If you're retired, mm -hmm. like if you are retired and just living here, and you don't, you know, you want it. You're coming here for the slow pace of life mm -hmm. and all that. I mean, it'd be perfect for that. But because we're obviously not retired we need to be able to work and for that we just need to make sure the internet is good enough like i said we've only been here for a few days so far so good but there's also it's hard to get some of the certain things that we like like even like so sparkling water soda water i know that sounds probably posh saying that and but like wine options are limited yeah like so when you're you know used to kind of getting mm -hmm. those uh things that you get like all the time and you can't it's like oh right yeah right i am on an island oh it is a lot slower here uh, but pros and cons to that, right? It's been a lot of fun, but I don't think we would ever live in a place like this for like two or three months at a time. Visit, yes. And who knows, maybe in 20 years from now, you'll be, we'll still be making videos and we'll be like, guess where we are? We're living here now. <laughs> when we slow down and we're old. <laughs> Yeah, that would be interesting. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you got this far and you don't know who we are, it's Trevor and Anna, Delightful Travelers. Hit subscribe, leave us a like because that helps us out, and leave a comment. Let us know what you guys think and let us know if you could live a very simple life here in the Philippines. Now, next up... We don't know. I mean, we had it fully planned out. We knew what we were going to do next, but it really is weather dependent. The thing that we want to do is it really wouldn't be as good if the sun's not out. Yeah, we, we want to go island hopping here. You can kind of do like, um, like not, not like in El Nido, but I think the, the beaches and, and islands are supposed to be beautiful. But we need the weather for it, so we'll see what happens. If we're not here uh, for the next video, we will be somewhere else in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, but we appreciate all you guys watching. An extra huge thanks to all of our YouTube channel members and our patrons. You guys mean the world to us. For now, we're going to sign off and we'll see you in the next video. All right, guys, that's it. From Cebu, or I guess Bantayan, <laughs> wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.